What's up guys? It's that time of the year again. Thanksgiving, Christmas, they're right around the corner. We're traveling. Let's take a look. I've got a hard side spinner suitcase I picked up at Target. It was $55. It's hard sided, which is a common theme on this channel. This is the luggage I prefer traveling with, taking as a carry-on. This one, the right size for most carry-on overhead compartments. It's got some really nice features and the good news here, it's brand new. So far so good, taking a look at it, no quality control issues. If you'll remember from last week when we reviewed the Tribute DLX Spinner carry-on, that was by American Tourister, that was $80 at Macy's. I ordered it online on sale, it did have quality control issues. Okay, let's start with a first impressions. So first impressions are everything. This, as you can tell, is roughly two and a half feet tall. It's roughly a foot and a half wide. Let's go ahead and get some official dimensions here. Let's go and get a height using the measure app. And it is 20, 21 and two thirds, uh, roughly 22 inches. So two feet tall, like I said, perfect size for a carry-on. And you're looking at uh, 12 and a half inches across, so a foot across. I was close, pretty close to two feet. Uh, foot wide um, is the dimension of this carry-on bag. You can see that it is a spinner. You can uh, spin it 360 degrees, uh, but I imagine you can also roll it if you tilt it back on two wheels. Uh, you can see this is the Skyline logo up here. Um, probably impact resistant, uh, which is what I prefer about hard-sided uh, luggage carry-ons. Uh, the fact that you can bring things back in them, throw them in the trunk. Let's go over just a couple of the quick specifications that you can see in store. Five-year warranty and smooth wheels. I can confirm that they are not only smooth, but quiet as well. And uh, also, I think you'll notice uh, some of the other features that are not mentioned, such as these black corner guards. It's also got this sort of Kevlar, sporty, racy look to it. Um, I do like the color blue. Was not able to find this in other than blue at Target, but uh, so far so good. I think blue suits it. And one thing to mention that is important to note about this carry-on is no extension zipper, just one size fits all. Should be pretty easy to pack, but uh, maybe this one potentially not as good as some of the other options we've reviewed. So far, so good. Really like the look, the fit, and the finish of this Skyline 20-inch hard side carry-on. But okay, that was a first impressions. Now for the good stuff, let's pack it, see how heavy it is. And without there being an extension zipper, how many items can we fit inside compared to last week's Tribute DLX Spinner? Okay, so here we've got three large beach towels. One, two fit perfect, I think. Two fit perfect. But let's go ahead and see if we can't maybe just stretch out the sides here and fit our third beach towel. Just maybe a little bit too narrow to fit three. So perhaps we can just fit this one on top if we unfold it a little bit. So it's unfolded there. Now it's taking up more space of the main compartment here. And now to pack the other side. So let me get a few more items. What I appreciate the most about hard-sided luggage is how easy it usually is to pack and that's because it is so exact in its size that you can eyeball things to pack it. So just another blanket and a fairly large pillow which probably will not fit. So what we can probably do, there is sort of a lift that runs around the edge of the zipper compartment that you can sort of tuck things under. So another thing I like about hard sided luggage is you can stand on it and compress it. But so far so good. Extremely confident in getting this 
zippered. So, as you can see, no extension zipper, just one size fits all. Still have a little bit of room left. You can see the inflection as I push down on it. All in all, with these items inside, I think we could probably give this a rating of about maybe 30 square feet of packing space. So take these beach towels out, for example, and lay them out, and take this blanket out, unfold it, lay it out, and all of the things that you can fold up and fit inside, which I think would be maybe 30 square feet, maybe a little bit bigger, uh, not even two feet tall, you can fit a ton. As you just saw, this carry-on can store a bunch of different items. And what I told you I liked was two zippers for the zipper compartment to overstuff it if you'd like, and then just a clothing strap, but no toiletry bag, unlike last week in the Tribute DLX spinner. Anyways guys, that has been a first impressions, comparisons, overview, and packing. You saw us pack it at the end. We also compared this throughout to the Tribute DLX Spinner by American Tourister. That I reviewed two weeks ago. I bought that luggage at Macy's. It was $80 on sale from $170. That had quality control issues, which was probably why it was on sale. This one though, $60, full retail price, no quality control. The reason it's uh, this inexpensive compared to the Tribute DLX Spinner is um, overall styling, which is not as forward looking as the Tribute DLX Spinner, but it's a carry on luggage, so it doesn't really matter all that much. I don't think the price difference justifies it. Plus, I would rather have the better quality control on this one, but we also saw it's smaller than the Tribute DLX Spinner and also has one less feature. It comes without a toiletry pouch, which the Tribute DLX Spinner came with. But again, not a huge difference, not a huge justification uh, in the price difference to go for the more expensive luggage when this one, I think, is just as good, has great styling. I really like this sort of dimpled rough textured lining on the front. I like the color blue. It comes in two other colors, navy and orange. It's lightweight, it's a carry-on, so fits in most overhead compartments. This one is actually smaller, so maybe it's better to travel with if you like a smaller luggage. Um, but overall, really good quality. Um, we packed it with probably 30 square feet of area space of towels and blankets. Really great styling. Love this suitcase. Um, no quality control issues and it's inexpensive at $60. My name's John because I picked this up at Target that makes this a big box good. This is the Skyline Neolite Collection uh, 20 inch hard side carry on. It was $60 at Target. Like I said because I picked it up at Target that makes this a big box good. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Comment down below. Hit the bell icon to get notified when we post to YouTube. Share this video with friends and family. Thanks again so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next video.